Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through basically how you can use um, the Chassis Sim Aero Toolbox to create an Aero Map for your race car. Now, one of the big myths you hear about Aero Maps is that it's impossible to get an Aero Map from race data, and if you're going to need an Aero Map, you need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars at a wind tunnel, etc, etc. Now, I'm not discounting the need to go to a wind tunnel or the value of going to a wind tunnel, but we're going to show you basically how using the Chassis Simero Toolbox, a good vehicle model and a bit of common sense, you can actually get a workable aero model and get it working very, very quickly. So without further ado, why don't we talk about how to do that. Now, whenever you run your race car, you're going, the data you get back will give you a thin sliver of the aero map for that, particular, uh, uh, for that particular race car. And basically, what we do with the chassis CMA, uh, uh, with the chassis CMA aero, map tool, uh, aero mapping toolbox is that we basically can get that fin sliver from uh, your data. And what we do is we basically construct a test program to produce a number of these fin slippers. And then you could basically curve fit the results to get your um, aero map. So let's get started. Well, the first thing you need is basically a car file that pertains to your particular setup. So for this particular example, I'll just go to open, and this was and this uh, and this car file here pertained to my particular setup that I ran for an arrow test. So I'll just open that. Now, the next step is basically we need to basically open up um, the arrow modeling toolbox. Now. With the Aero Modeling Toolbox, you'll see here that basically we've got a number of different input options to put in our race data and some modeling options that we're going to walk over in just a moment. Now, what we'll do here is we're going to add our monster import file. And as you can see, this is our monster import file. We simply click on OK. And that basically is all our, uh, and we've just imported basically all our dampers, our accelerations, our speeds, and our RPM. Now, this particular file didn't have any loads, so you'll see here the loads here are blank. Now, as you can see here, our next step is that we enter in the sampling rate of our data, which was 50 hertz, or a 0.02 of a second. Okay, this isn't a monoshock, so we leave that as zero. We input the fact that dampers are zeroed on the ground. Now, these are basically your standard deviation filters. As you can see here, these are set to one. What that means is that Anything, any results beyond the standard deviation are going to be ignored. And so we'll basically leave that for the time being. Now, if we had tire loads and we wanted to use them, we would change that from 0 to 1. But since we don't need to worry about that, we just leave that as a 0. We just indicate that that's 1, and we click on OK. Then we just simply run the numerical engine. We click on Start. We go to Start Simulation. And lo and behold, you'll see here that basically these are our results. So you'll see here that basically this is your average, C uh, this is your average CLA, this is your average CDA, and this is your average error balance, and this basically gives you your standard deviations. And you'll see here that basically a little analysis window comes up. Now, the beautiful thing about this is it gives you a quick um, uh, guide to basically what you've just done. So here, you can see that we're plotting our front right height versus our rear right height. This is basically the fin sliver of the aero map that we've returned. We can have a quick look at basically what our downforce looked uh, about, basically what our downforce um, what our downforce characteristic looked like. Ditto for our drag characteristic, and ditto basically for our aero balance as well. Now, what this will do is this will basically export the results to a file called arrow analysis results .dat. let me just bring that up uh, let me bring you uh, 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 bring that up for you so if we go into our windows explorer basically our results arrow analysis uh, arrow analysis results underscore dot that is basically exported to the directory where the car file lives so let's see, chassis sim so this is in um, uh, chassis sim, the particular relevant folder where our car file lived, and lo and behold, this is basically our one file arrow analysis results underscore dot that. So what we've just done is we've just generated a thin sliver of that particular arrow map. Now, what we can do 
is you'll notice here in this directory structure, I've got a number of different arrow options that um, uh, that I've worked through where I've worked through a uh, right height sweep. So what I can do is I can go back into my car file and all I do is I go back to basically where I've moved the front right height up. I've inputted the car file that pertains to that and pertains to that right height change. You'll see the right height change here. And all I do is I go back into aero modeling options. Once again, import um, uh, my monster file. That imports um, my particular data. I use the same. Uh, I use exactly the same settings here. I click on OK. Go to the uh, uh, go uh, uh, go to the start menu. Click on start simulation. Lo and behold, bingo! You can see that all of a sudden. Our um, mean CLA, our mean CBA, and our error balance has changed to reflect that. And so typically what we'll do is we'll work through and build up a number of different options um, with, regards to, uh, with regards to this. Now, when we're done, what we do is we go back to, uh, uh, is that we go back to our folder that we basically had all this data stored in. And what we do is that now what we need to do is we need to go through all of these examples and uh, we need to go through all of these examples and basically get our narrow arrow analysis results files. We'll open them up in Notepad. We select them all. I'm going to copy that. And what I'm going to do is go back here to basically where my final file is. I paste it in. And what I keep on doing is I go through all these particular files. So, for example, I'll go to rewrite height um, uh, file. I'll open up this particular uh, file in Notepad. I copy that and I put this into my final file here. So, what I'm doing here, and I'll obviously I'll save that as I go along. Now, what I'm do uh, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm basically concatenating all those arrow results.dat files that we've done into one big file. This is giving me my complete raw results for the whole arrow map. So, the question is, how do we use this map to generate a right height sensitive map we can use in chassis set? The answer to that is actually more straightforward than what you think. Going back here, this is a uh, file that I worked up a little bit earlier, that if we open that, You'll see here we can go right down to the end. And if we go, we can see here that we've got 1170 samples. And if we were to open this up in something like MATLAB or Mathematica, you would see a whole suite of different error results. So, how do we use that big concatenated error file to produce a right height sensitive error map? That's actually remarkably easy. We go back to Chassis Sim, we go back to the error modeling toolbox um, data, and you can see here generate error map from error toolbox results. So all we do is we navigate to basically where our error analysis um, uh, results file is, and it's a, basically a style.dat file. And here, all I do is I click on my CLA file, and I'll just create a folder called error maps. And I'll just call this CLA map one. I'll call this CDA map underscore one. I'll call this error balance error balance map one. And you'll also note here that I can choose basically where um, uh, the number of front ride height points I want, the number of rear ride height points um, that I want. So, for the sake of the argument, let me just l uh, 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 let me just um, uh, leave that as um, ten and ten. So, what so now we have our input file defined. We've defined the number of points that we want in our arrow map, and we've defined where this is all going. We have a number of different options. Firstly, we can export this all out to a text file, and let's just do that. We'll generate the arrow map. Now, what this has just done is this has uh, just generated a nasty text file that we can review in Excel. To show you what that looks like, let me just open it up in Microsoft Excel for you. And so I basically choose all files, 
I'll go into Arrow Maps, CLA Map, and it's simply a spaced delimited file. I select on space, next, finish, and all of a sudden, this is basically all our arrow coefficients that we're interested in here. So that is basically uh, so that basically is our error, uh, that basically is our error map. Now let's just say that we were going from a blank sheet of paper and we wanted to export that straight to the car file. All we do is click on export to current file map. It'll tell you the error map is assigned, and what it will automatically do is it will automatically res uh, uh, resize the right heights to fit. And all you've got to do is go into click on the front wing, click on edit downforce right hat map, bingo. Here's our arrow map. Now as you can see, it's probably not perfect, but here's the great thing about some um, chassis sim in standard or advanced mode. You can actually edit the values that don't look right. So for instance, let's just say that um, we thought that this uh, the top uh, uh, the uh, top value here was a little bit unrealistic, so we could just do something like 3.9, and we could probably linearize between two points. And if we really wanted to, we could probably just linearize between those points, and then basically knock out the bits of the map that didn't quite uh, 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 that we could knock out the bits of the map that didn't quite look correct. So the advantage of this is using this editor, we can go through, we can linearize, we can raise points up, and, uh, uh, we can raise points up and down. This in a, is in a nutshell how you can go from a blank sheet of paper to an arrow map in literally minutes. Is it foolproof? No, it isn't. But what it does is it gives you the tools to really be able to accurately describe the arrow. And I'll just leave you with this thought. Using the techniques that we have just discussed, this has formed the basis of um, chassis sim arrow mapping being applied in fields as diverse as A1GP, Star Mazda, the LMPC category in the American Le Mans series, Formula 3, and many more with results that have been startling to say the, uh, to say the least. Don't take our word for it. Go to the Chassis Sim website and check it out for yourself.